Boeing in the United States Navy explaining in detail how a combination of long wave infrared search track combined with high speed multi ship data networking and advanced sensor fusion algorithms can generate a weapons quality track on an enemy stealth fighter. It is only a matter of time before adversaries such as Russia and China develop similar capabilities. Both Moscow and Beijing have most of the elements needed to develop and field counter-stealth technology similar to that demonstrated by the U.S. Navy and Boeing during Fleet Exercise 2017 on board a pair of modified FAR-18 EF Super Hornets using a combination of the powerful DTPN processor TTNT high-speed I-based data network. In the long wave block II infrared search and track pod the US Navy will be fielding its new counter stealth capabilities in the coming years as the block III Super Hornet enters service in 2022. Given that both the Russians and the Chinese possess the individual elements of all the required technologies to replicate the US Navy's capabilities. It is only a matter of time before Moscow and Beijing start to field similar counter stealth abilities. The Russians as Center for Naval Analyses research scientist Michael Kaufman noted have had infrared search and track sensors on board their fighter aircraft for decades. Even the earliest versions of the Mikoi and MiG-29 Fulcrum and the Sukhoi Su-27 flanker have had an IRST system installed. The Russians have continued to field modern fighters such as the Sukhoi Su-30SM and Su-35S with newer and more modern IRS technology even if the detection ranger are fairly unimpressive even the forthcoming Su-57 pac -Fa incorporates the 101 KSV infrared search and track system. Like every Russian plane has a giant IRS pod in the front for the past 30 years Kaufman said. However, it is unclear what infrared wavelength the Russian systems use but it is likely that it uses mid-wave infrared. Most military airborne infrared sensors tend to use middle wavelengths because of the good compromise between range and resolution capability. Long wave infrared was typically less common because while that part of the spectrum offers excellent range capability and the ability to pick up extremely cool objects those sensors were traditionally limited by poor resolution and clutter. However the advantage is that a good long wave infrared sensor will be sensitive enough to pick up the heat generated by the disturbance of the airflow and skin friction of an aircraft traveling through the atmosphere. Long wave infrared LWIR has long been a holy grail of sorts for the Defense Department. Sensitivity could most directly be provided by developing detectors that responded in the 812 microm long wavelength IR LWIR band. The LWIR band is a highly desired operating band because it provides the most signal for a given difference in temperature between an object. Unfortunately that band is also one of the most difficult for detectors to work in because long wavelength photons have lower energy than short wavelength photons. So detecting LWIR photons also means detecting other low energy products such as latent heat-generated dark current and its associated noise. Boeing has largely solved the problems associated with noise lutter and resolution using new algorithms and the enormous processing power of the computer on board the Block III Super Hornet. The result is a sensor that is sensitive enough to detect airborne targets at extended ranges beyond the capability of even an active electronically scanned array radar such as the Raytheon nor is there any hiding from a long wave infrared sensor and the camera can pick up the heat generated by disturbance of air molecules or sunlight absorbed by an aircraft skin and emitted as background heat.